Hi there, and welcome to our video on Introductory Layout to Google Spreadsheets. Now, if you don't know how to access the Google Spreadsheet, don't worry, we've got a video on that. Or just stay tuned because we're going to do it right now. Here we are in www.google.com. I'm going to click on Drive up top and insert in my email, password, and click on Sign In. At this point, I've signed in to my Google Drive, and I can click on the Create button to create my spreadsheet. And voila, here we have it in a new tab. We've got our own Google spreadsheet, just like an artist's canvas. We can begin. So here we have it. This is a grid composed of columns and rows. We can have a maximum of 256 columns, which are listed here alphabetically or 200,000 cells, or 100 sheets. Whichever of those are reached first, that is the maximum capacity of a Google spreadsheet. The number of rows is unlimited. OK, so let's start from the very top here. We have our title. Very good practice is to change the name of your title. Just so you know exactly what we're talking about, we're going to call this Introductory Layout. And you will notice that after a couple seconds, the title has been changed to whatever you've named your spreadsheet. Now below your title, we've got here a bar, which is our menu bar. And below that, we've got our formatting bar. And the last is our formula bar. So in our subsequent videos, we will be going into depth on elements relating to formulas and functions, formatting, and of course, we will know that the menu bar will be put to very good use. OK. So within your worksheet, we can have multiple sheets, which in essence will create a workbook. So in this case, we have one sheet. As we see down here, it's called Sheet 1. We can change the name of Sheet 1 by clicking on that right-hand side and selecting the Rename option. And here, I will call this Basics. Now, as I mentioned earlier, we can have up to 100 sheets here. And how do we do that? We can add a sheet by clicking on this plus sign. Click on this plus sign, sheet 2 comes up. And again, we can do the same thing by renaming it as well. And we'll call this basics too. OK, so you can add as many sheets as you want up to 100 by clicking on this plus sign. OK, so now that we have our columns and rows in this grid, let me show you how we can resize columns and rows. If you highlight on any column or any row, we'll do it both times. Let's say you highlight A and B. If you put your cursor on the divider, you can either divide it here in the, between the columns B and C or columns A and B. We can move the cursor to the size that we want. So in this case, if I move it out here, you'll notice that because we highlighted both columns A and B, both would have changed to the size that you have specified based on where you moved your cursor. OK, I want to go back to my original size, and I can do that by clicking on my keyboard, Control-Z or Command-Z, and I'm taken back to the original. Now again, I can do the same thing with rows. I can click on one row or multiple rows. So let's just do one row for now. And again, I can move down the cursor to whatever size that I want. OK? Control-Z back to the original. Now how do I go about adding columns and rows? All right, well in this case, in our spreadsheet currently, we have uh, columns A through T. And let's say I want to add column U. To do that, go here to your menu bar and click on Insert. And at that point, I want to add a column to the right of column T. So when I do that, you will see that column U has very appropriately been added. And if I highlight multiple columns, and let's say in this case we've highlighted 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 columns, and click Insert, you will see that we can add nine columns to the right, which is the number of columns that you've highlighted. And when I do that, you will notice that very correspondingly after column U, 
nine additional columns have been added. So we can do the same thing with rows by going to our menu bar up here and click insert and again you can insert the row below. Another way you can add rows is to go to the very bottom of your spreadsheet and there's this option where you can add the specified number of rows that you want to the bottom of your spreadsheet. So in this case we have 100 rows and if we want to add 20 more you click on that little add button here and there you have it at this point we have 120 rows. Okay so here was an introductory video kind of shows you the layout of the land, the layout of the spreadsheet. We've got our three menu bars, we've got our columns and our rows and we've learned how to change titles, change worksheets and add them as well. Okay, you will notice that because you're working on a Google spreadsheet, everything is online. Of course, you can change your settings so that this worksheet is private or you can share it with other collabor collaborators. Uh, but the great thing is with this Google spreadsheet, all changes are saved on your drive. So you don't have to worry about losing any work because the changes will be saved automatically. Okay, we will see you in our future videos. Bye-bye.